Today we're going to be talking about what exactly happens at reception in the United States Army. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I said we're going to be talking about reception and what exactly you can look forward to when going to it, right? Uh, you hear stories all the time like reception was the worst, I hated it, I'd rather do basic training three times and do reception again and for the most part that's true, reception sucks, straight up it sucks guys. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, I'm not even going to tell you that it's, oh, no, it's not that bad, it's whatever. It's like MEPS times three because it's just so boring, you're getting minimal sleep, you're away from your home you're not going back home at whereas MEPS you know you show up for one day right reception can vary from like four days to two weeks if you get stuck there for two weeks especially at 30th AG if you're going infantry at Benning Jesus Lord help you it's gonna it's gonna be a horrible time all right uh, but before we jump into the main topics guys a little bit about me in case you guys are new here uh, my name is Sergeant Alvarado or Ben Allen on social media I did four years active duty as a 68 whiskey I got out as a sergeant, did a couple months in the civilian side, and then recently joined the Army Reserves in September. I mean, my bad, October. I got out in September. Uh, but yeah, and so now I have that reserve knowledge and that active duty knowledge should you guys need it. So drop down below what videos you want to see uh, me do in the future. And also drop down below where you're going to basic training. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to get a better idea of what to expect once you go there, right? But uh, maybe you'll make some friends down in the comment sections. I know that happens all the time. People or like, oh, I'm going to Fort Sill, I'm going to Fort, uh, you know, Benning or whatever. And they're like, oh, me too. So maybe you'll make a friend, guys. So drop down below where you're going and what your MOS is just for fun to see if you can make any friends, all right? And yeah, so jumping into it, right, reception. So I know they're doing a whole two-week quarantine period before they actually ship you off to basic training because of the whole COVID-19 thing. But that's not playing a huge factor like it was when the whole uh, virus was really, really picking up and was running rampant and all that. So just uh, keep that in mind. But overall, this is going to be going over reception in general and what you should expect. So first off, you're going to get off the bus, right? Whether you flew there or you took a bus, you're going to you're going to end up on a bus going to reception, right? And you're going to get off, and they're really not going to be yelling at you like a whole lot. It's not like actual basic training where you're going to get shark attacked. They'd be like yelling at you, like telling you you're a piece of shit, all that stuff. It's more relaxed in a way. They're still going to be very strict and very stern with you and they're gonna talk in like deep voices but they're not gonna be like yelling hardcore at least that's what I've seen from multiple different receptions from my own and others on YouTube and just things like that right and pretty much because what, the, what their whole point there is to make sure you you get to basic training in one piece right they're saving all that stuff for the legit basic training this is just to pretty much process you into that actual basic training phase you know what I mean so th while they still are drill sergeants they're not like the in your face like I'm a rock your shit type of drill drill sergeants right they're they're just there to guide you along the whole you know purgatory that is reception you know what I mean and so you get off the bus right they're gonna file you into this room and they're gonna have you fill out all these documents you know they're just like oh yes you know this is me blah 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 signature there you go and uh, I think they collected our phones like immediately <laughs> they just like all right put your phone in this bag put your name on the back of it all this stuff they collected all of them put them in a bin and we did not see those until the end of reception and we didn't even get them I think we did get them back but I know in some cases they just send them to your uh, drill sergeants at the base that you're going to be going to. But I think in our case they did give us back to them in the baggie. They said do not open them, do not touch them. And that plays a part later on in the video, alright? And so yeah, we put our phones in and then we started uh, filing in. And we just got like one call to tell our parents, hey we just made it to reception, we're good. And that, that was it. You know what I mean? And then, then you put your phone in the bag and then you do that whole process. And then after that, they pretty much line you up to go through these different stations. And at this station, you're going to be getting your Camelback and your PTs initially, right? This is just so you have something to sleep in and you have something to drink water out of. And then they also give you your bed sheets and a pillow. And the pillow is not like some shit you're going to find at a five-star hotel. It's literally like a piece of cardboard. It's like the thinnest thing in the world. At least that's how ours were. I don't know how your guys' will be. I went back in 2015. So things could have changed from there, but I don't see a whole lot changing. 
And yeah, so you get your basic essentials that first night and some people get to reception like maybe, you know, midday or the afternoon. Some get there at night. Uh, my bus got there at night. So it was already like 11 when we first got there. And by the time we finished getting all our stuff, Camelback, signing the papers, turning phones in and everything, it was already like, I want to say 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And you know what time we had to be up at? 4 or 4.30. I, but I know every day was like a 4 o'clock wake up because we had so much to do. And so that's your first night there at reception. You get like your initial issue of PTs and, you know, Camelback and, you know, your sheets and stuff like that. And you're gonna throw away any contraband that you may have, right? So if you have stuff in your backpacks that you're not allowed to have, they're gonna be like, all right, throw that shit away, you know what I mean? And then you're gonna go to the bay pretty much that same night, and the bay is just open, right? So they have like 60 some odd bunk beds in there for all of you individuals, or like 30 bunk beds for 60 of y'all, and you're gonna be staying in that bay. And this is where you can like kind of relax, you can chill, you can start putting stuff in your locker just to like, uh, arrange your stuff that way you're ready for the next morning and uh, the showers I know because some of you guys can ask right about the showers in the bay the showers at reception are open bay meaning they're just shower heads all along the wall there's no stalls it's just you know like a free-for-all type of thing like everybody's there you know showering so if you're like on the shy side then hey you might want to wait until everybody's done showering that way you can go in there and shower when it's just you or maybe just like another person or something but just know that it is an open bay shower so I I know everybody always asks me that question um, but yeah and then restrooms you know they got a bunch of stalls got a bunch of urinals you will have time for hygiene in the morning and there's going to be fire guard right fire guard is usually two individuals at a time you know for like an hour at a time or so it could be an hour or two hours depending on what the bay leader decides and you're gonna be uh, doing shifts right the way we did it was we just went down the line of bunk beds like hey you got this shift so on and so forth and you just pretty much sit at a desk and make sure the building doesn't catch on fire and nobody dies at night, you know what I mean? And that's that, that's pretty much your first night at reception. And so you're gonna wake up the next morning and they're gonna take you to the defect. The defect is the dining facility. You're gonna get like maybe five to 10 minutes to eat, but you will eat. You do eat at reception. You are required to have three square meals a day and take it in a reception while you can because they're not gonna be as strict with you as what you can or cannot eat from the defect. Once you get to actual basic training, uh, it's gonna get wild. They're, they're gonna see you with like a cookie in your hand. They're gonna tackle you to the ground. I'm playing, that's not gonna happen. But they will yell at you if you're getting like sweets and stuff at actual basic training. Whereas reception, you can kind of get a little bit of what you want you know but make sure you have time to actually eat it and no talking if you talk at reception drill sergeants are probably gonna get mad they're gonna like make you do push-ups and they're not gonna make you do a whole lot of push-ups because again this isn't actual basic training this is just reception you know what I mean and so once you eat and you go to breakfast they're gonna take you to the place where you're gonna be doing most of your day-to-day -day activities right and these day-to-day -day activities consist of multiple different stations right it can take you know like I said it could take three or four days to finish reception or it could take two weeks to finish reception this just depends on you and different types of stuff that you may need to be approved or not approved things like that to move on or if you just require certain things that others may not you know what I mean so lucky for me I was only there for like four or five days and I got everybody I went there with on the same bus that same night I shipped out with two basic training so it was pretty good got lucky in that sense and these stations, right? You have like a medical station, finance station, dental, like x-rays. Uh, you're gonna get your hair cut there, so say goodbye to your hair. I know that sucked for me. I did not wanna shave my head. And so my advice to you guys for these stations, because these stations will take forever, right? Is go to the one with the shortest line, and if not that, go to finance first. Finance took the longest for some reason, because it's a long line, people are waiting to go, and they're gonna be asking you a bunch of information, like what bank do you want us to send your money to, this, that, and the other, you know, like how do you want us to set this up? Do you want, you know, every month or every two weeks? And for some reason, it just took the longest. So if you can knock out finance first, knock out finance first I promise you uh, you'll be thanking me later it is a bitch I guarantee you uh, but yeah so once you knock that out try going to like medical next right because medical is gonna be like where you get your shots you know the famous peanut butter shot that everybody talks about everybody's like oh is it that bad does it hurt like what's it like guys it's not that bad all right if you hate needles and you hate getting shots and it might be bad but all it is is just penicillin pretty much 
If you're allergic, let them know, but they probably already be knowing that. At least from what I've been told, it's just penicillin. But it's a thick, thick serum version of it for some reason. They give it to you in the ass cheek and you know, they put it there and they have you sit down and they're like, okay, just rub it out. Like just put pressure on it. Like make sure you spread it around. You don't want it to just be sitting in that one uh, injection site because then it'll hurt and things like that. They're gonna tell you to like, you know, sit down, like just put pressure on your cheek and just spread it around. So it's not bad. It's not that bad. I promise you, do not worry. Uh, it'll be like a little bit of pain at first and then you're, it's gone, you're good. So then once you do medical, you get your shots, you probably do a couple of other things in the medical station, right? You're gonna do your vision, they're gonna determine whether you need, you know, the basic training glasses, you know, the black frames, all that stuff. And they'll do your hearing as well. They're gonna do pretty much anything medical that you can think of. Like whatever medical stuff you did at MEPS to get there, you're probably gonna be doing again at reception, just a little more in depth, just because they wanna make sure you're squared away and that you're good to go, you know what I mean? And they'll check your teeth as well not very thorough but they'll just kind of determine with the x-rays like okay we're gonna schedule you an appointment at dental once you get to your first duty station type of stuff at least that's how they did it with us they put it in our records and then your records will travel with you from reception to basic basic to AIT AIT to your first duty station and then you turn those into the dental place there and they're like okay well you're due for this and that and all that stuff you know what I mean and so that's the whole medical portion right and then some people waited like for to do the haircuts last and they went to the haircuts, line you in, they sit you down, they just shave it all off, just bam, you're, you're bald pretty much, minus the little stubble that's left over. And this, this takes over like the span of a couple of days, guys. You might not be able to knock out every single station in one day. You know what I mean? If you can, do congrats. You're lucky as shit and you've literally done the impossible. You know what I mean? It's not impossible. People have done it before, but it's just awesome. And so usually around 1130, you're going to stop whatever you're doing. They're going to say, all right, hey, everybody form up. We're going to go to lunch and then you'll march on down to the defect. You'll eat your food again and then you'll come back to that place and continue wherever you left off. And that's, that's usually a lot. You're not going to continue where you left off because it's first come, first serve. Whoever gets there first, gets there first. So try to get in line first, all right? It'll definitely help you out. Once you do all of that, guys, there's going to be some downtime, right? Like you're going to usually finish like maybe at five or six. You'll go back to the bay. You're going to have time to write letters to home and do all that stuff. You'll be able to like go across the street. Usually they have a PX where you can buy stamps and maybe like, you know, some items that you may need for hygiene. So like shampoo and like the deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that stuff if you don't already have it. Maybe some shoes that you can buy there. I know RPX had shoes that we could buy if we needed some. And as far as PT goes during reception, we really we didn't do really any PT. It was just wake up and get grinding on the stuff that we needed to knock out. So during the whole time also, like whenever you have downtime, you're gonna be like learning your soldier's creed, your army values, things like that. Uh, the drill sergeant is gonna be on you a little bit, just trying to make sure that you're retaining that information. That way they don't send you to legit basic training not knowing anything at all, you know what I mean? So really take that time, your downtime, to study those things because as part of uh, I forgot to mention it, but back in the beginning when you're getting uh, issued your camelback and your sheets and stuff, they're going to give you your blue book as well and a couple of other things that can help you study. And your blue book is pretty much just the soldiering guide, pretty much. It's going to have all these things in there that you can study. Like again, the, the rank structure, officer rank structure, the soldier's creed, army values, things like that that are definitely going to help you out and not get smoked in basic training. So carry that blue book around like it's your new Bible, study it religiously, and just be good to go and square it away on it, all right? And that in a nutshell, guys, you know, as like brief as I could be about it is pretty much reception. Like it's nothing, it, it is super bad. I was gonna say it's something super bad, but it is because it's a lot of waiting. Like there's countless, that's why nobody really gets done in a day or two and it takes that long, you know, at reception, the four to two weeks because it's just a lot of waiting because some of the civilians need to get there, they need to log into their stuff, they need to do all this, that, and the other. And it's just, it's just a bunch of waiting, guys, so. If you can bear with that, you're gonna be fine for the most part. It just sucks because waiting, waiting is horrible. I don't like waiting, I'm very impatient. But you'll learn your most your most valuable skill there at reception. Just And the biggest lesson the army is ever gonna teach you is just hurry up and wait. You know, you're gonna hurry up, you're gonna wait. You're gonna hurry up, you're gonna wait. And just so on and so forth. And that's the video, guys. I really hope you guys got something out of it. Again, comment down below where you're going for basic training and what you think about reception. Do you think you're gonna breeze by it? You're gonna get done super, super fast or what? And also comment down below what other videos you wanna see in the future. 
Definitely helps me out whenever I'm making new content. And before you do anything else, guys, just subscribe to this uh, channel. Make sure you guys turn on that bell notification and you'll be updated whenever I drop new content. I try to do live streams every Wednesday, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, become part of the family today by just smashing that button. Uh, I got my patch wall right here from like multiple patches I've gotten back in the day and one of my old platoon shirts from uh, when we were in Kuwait. Uh, I have no idea why I just showed you that, just figured why not. And uh, yeah guys, I really do appreciate y'all tuning in the channel, it means a lot. And uh, thank y'all, I really appreciate it. And before y'all go, I want to shout out real quick to the company that I'm an ambassador for, American Dream Clothing, guys. Uh, the link's going to be down below in the description box, but pretty much we're a military-friendly, military-owned company. I don't usually do whole ambassador things unless I really believe in the product, and I do, guys. It's it's um, I don't know if you guys saw my Ask that video, but it's G-Team is the one. She's the CEO, the owner of the company, and it's great workout equipment, guys. If you're trying to get ready for basic training, this is definitely the stuff for you. Uh, this is the Home of the Brave shirt. I love it. It's super thin material. It wicks away the sweat super fast. Um, I work out in it occasionally. I don't like getting it super dirty, right? We got the shirts. We got hoodies. We got everything. Again, click the link below. It, it'll all be there. And if you use code BENALLEN10, you'll take 10% off your entire purchase. We also got the Home of the Brave shorts, guys. They also have the compression in here so like the little liner you know pretty much what your pts are gonna have uh when you go to the actual army the whole like liner in between uh, it's really good if you chafe a lot i love it so definitely hit it up guys ben allen 10 is the code you can save 10 percent uh if you do decide to purchase something from the site feel free to send me a screenshot of your purchase to my Instagram at Ben underscore Allen 175. And I will post that on my story and give you a quick little shout out. All right. But again, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one later.